how are you all? Uh, it's good to be back and uh, this week I'm going to stick with the theme I started last week uh, which is evaluation. How do I prove that I've had an impact? Um, and uh, I want to give you a bunch of uh, really cool, quick, practical, fun techniques that you can uh, integrate into some of the things that you might be doing on your pathway to impact that will enhance what you're doing, hopefully get you more impact and also give you some evidence that this stuff uh, is, uh, is actually working. Um, so uh, I'm working out of chapter 22 of the Research Impact Handbook, uh, but I'm also drawing on the public engagement uh, evaluation toolkit. Uh, this is something that uh, I, I led on writing uh, for Queen Mary University London in collaboration with the National Coordinating Centre on Public Engagement and uh, Dialogue Matters. Um, and it was a really fun project where we basically asked the question, what are the kind of techniques you can use that might add to your public engagement, make it more fun, more engaging, um, rather than just annoying people, that could also give you evidence of impact. Uh, so I'm going to give you a whistle-stop tour through a few of my favourites and um, uh, and uh, and then next week I'm going to maybe come back to this, we'll uh, have a look at some other things here, but uh, this week I'm going to focus on things that you can do instead of giving people a really boring questionnaire at the end of your event or whatever it is. So uh, more interesting, engaging, more exciting things in a questionnaire. and. Um, uh, and I'm going to start uh, with uh, a buckets evaluation. So you can download this for free um, uh, from the QMUL website. I'll put a link in the show notes um, so you can see that you can, you know, how much resource, time, expertise is it going to require, um, uh, what stage of engagement this might be appropriate to. Uh, and so, uh, so this is now, I have got a question uh, that I want to put into a survey, but I don't want to annoy people. This is the most important of all the questions. It's a Likert scale question. Uh, and so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to have a series of see-through buckets. Uh, I'm going to put them um, at the place where people are exiting from the event. Um, and I'm going to have them lined up in a row, five buckets, um, and uh, highly likely to unlikely or um, strongly agree to strongly disagree, however you want to arrange your, uh, your Likert scale, uh, labelled onto the bucket so you've got your question along the top. And as you go out, everyone is given an object, say a ping pong ball. Uh, and you're asked, as you go, can you please place your ping pong ball in one of the buckets to tell us the answer to this question, in your opinion? And by the end of it, you can instantly see all the bowls are full in one of them, empty in another, and here now is our distribution um, in terms of the answer to that question. Much more engaging, much more fun. Yeah, I'm going to ask one question, um, but uh, it's quite enough, uh, often a, a useful uh, process to get yourself to really focus. Um, so uh, we've got entry and exit quizzes uh, next uh, in here. So um, uh, I'm still sticking with the theme of, well, it's a survey, but I'm doing something a bit more exciting, a bit more uh, interesting uh, with this. Uh, so uh, ideally, I'm building this um, into uh, what I'm doing. So it's an, on an online quiz. Um, this is uh, perhaps now um, a quiz where, I, what do you call it? There are these uh, systems where you can get an audience uh, to press a button, um, uh, or it could be just a raising of a hand type thing, question on the board, uh, what, do we, what do we think? Um, or it could give everyone colours uh, on their seats, put your hand up uh, with this coloured sheet or whatever it is to give us your answer. We do it at the beginning, we do it at the end. The audience themselves sees the result and you can see, ha, huh, people change their opinion based on our debate, based on the evidence that we produced. Um, fascinating. And you get that before and after, which is of course great in terms of evidence, um, but you get the feedback and it actually adds to the excitement of what you're doing and people see the results in real time. Uh, fantastic. So, uh, so let's move to uh, a mobile event app. So there's a few of these um, off the shelf. Um, you can spend a bit of money on these. Uh, you can um, get a developer to develop one for you. Um, I would go to uh, a developer who's done these before to get that done fairly cost effectively. Uh, and again, we're adding to our event. So now we've got an event app uh, where I've got the full program of all the different sessions. Um, could be for a conference, for example. Great. You've maybe seen these before. Uh, and, and, and actually I'm adding value to this now because there's, there's an app with lots of additional content and information and, and it's really easy to use, brilliant. Uh, and as part of that, during my event, I am able to then push out questionnaires. There's a bit where you can voluntarily go 
um, uh, and after the event, uh, depending on whether or not uh, people uh, sign up for, for notifications, you can then push out a notification asking, so um, how did that go for you? What are you doing now? Um, longitudinally, what, uh, what might be the benefit for you? Uh, the, the next one, um, uh, is uh, rich pictures. Uh, so this is from the social sciences, um, uh, and um, and you can go really deep with this. But uh, essentially, what I'm doing now uh, is I'm getting people to draw a picture to describe what does this mean to you, um, what are the benefits of this uh, for you, uh, and uh, and draw uh, now. And for uh, illiterate uh, audiences, um, for children, um, but also for impasse, which are uh, at a conceptual level. Um, uh, I've changed my perception, I've changed my thinking, um, this is now a well-being benefit that I have. Quite hard to put into words, well let's not bother using words, let's draw some pictures. Um, uh, uh, some audiences really get into this, it can be really creative, really fun, um, and then I'm asking people to talk about their images um, in pairs or with me, um, and I can capture this if people allow me to, and, and get at some of these much deeper impacts uh, that would otherwise be quite hard to get at. Um, final one now, I'm going to go with um, Vox Pops, um, and, uh, and this is uh, effectively just um, uh, an interview, but uh, to camera. So I need to make sure that I've got um, uh, all the permissions to record um, the relevant permissions and for the people I interview so that I can then legitimately use that afterwards. Um, but it's one or two simple questions, uh, and I'm asking, so what do you think? Um, uh, and again, very similar to the kind of things I might ask in that boring questionnaire. Um, but I've now got a sample of people that I might have chosen to give me a cross-section of the different types of people I think I've been engaging with uh, who are giving me their lived reality in much more qualitative, rich depth than I might get from a few ticks or words on a form, so perhaps better quality data, even although there's a smaller number of them, and the added value that I can edit them together as part of a film that I integrate onto my website, into social media, uh, that directs people to my future events and to the cool stuff that I'm doing. And actually here is someone like me who's gotten a massive benefit from this and hey, I need to engage in this as well. Uh, and we hopefully drive more engagement and, uh, and more impact. Um, five, six, I can't remember, a few discrete things that you can do that are all fun easy, they add to your uh, engagement, uh, they uh, are not onerous, they're not annoying, and they give you evidence that what you did uh, actually made a difference.